I'm John Tarod and you're watching Joburg Today. Hello and a warm welcome to Joburg Today. I am Nashina Mohammed. It's great to have you with us this Friday. Social media often affects our daily lives and in the case of Explore ZA, it provides an opportunity to get to know your city better. We Explore ZA is a community Instagram meetup where people bring their cameras and explore the city. Explore ZA got started just over a year ago. Um, the idea behind it was community meets. What we want to do with Explore ZA is explore unique parts of our country that people don't get to see. The nice thing about Explore ZA is that we go to places that are very interesting. We find places with like nice dynamics, nice like photographic opportunities. The thing I like most about these meets is that meeting new people, you get to learn so much from everyone who comes to these meets. We Explore ZA meets every month in a different location and on average about 200 to 250 people attend with their record being 327 people. One of the core foundations of Explore ZA is to kind of show people how beautiful our city is um, because we look on the news and media we basically see that our country is getting a bad rep. We want to take the beauty of our city how we see it as photographers and we want to show people that despite the bad We've got a beautiful city around us. We've got so much to explore and so much to check out. I love these Explore ZA meets because they consistently happen every month. So it's time where you can come out and explore a different part of the country. Like by yourself, you might be scared to come to the city by yourself. But in a group like this, you meet new friends, you explore the city, you see how beautiful South Africa can actually be. So I love that about it. If I can see someone come up to me and be like, hey Matt, this was awesome. I've never been to town. I've always thought it was like an like unsafe, dodgy place and this was going to happen. When they come to me and they're like, town is so beautiful. This is like the most undiscovered gem I've ever seen. That for me is just, it's my goal complete. That's the main goal of Explore, to basically change the way people see the country, but also to, to love it just as much as we do. The photos taken at the meetups are available for anyone to view on the We Explore ZA Facebook page or on Instagram with the hashtag We Explore ZA. I'm Samuel Gebhardt for Joburg Today. Hi, this is Matata James, and you're watching Joburg Today. Like us on Facebook, joburgtoday.tv, and follow us on Twitter, at Joburg Today. Being the last weekend of school holidays, here is a fun outdoor activity for you. The Hartebius Port Aerial Cableway offers panoramic views. Check it out. Many South Africans associate cable cars with Table Mountain, or perhaps ski resorts in snow-covered mountains. But nowadays, cableways are part of the public transport system in quite a number of countries around the world. Cable cars are a relatively new innovation in public transport. Uh, it comes to Africa, uh, it came to Africa in the recent months and uh, years, I would say, and for Johannesburg, it could also mean to um, I would say to contribute to integral multimodal transport and this is what we want in Johannesburg. We, we have BRT but we have not enough of these eco-mobility modes and definitely urban cable car systems are a contributor to eco-mobility. Cable cars are not only an option for hilly areas. We have circumstances and preconditions in many cities which are flat, but there are still geographical barriers. Or there are circum areas in the city where low-income population groups are living, like in, like in Alexandra, for instance, uh, near Senton, where people commute and have no access. And BRT systems are systems which are definitely very good as mass rapid transit systems, but it's not enough because transport takes place in a chain. And we need also for Joburg and other cities in South Africa, we need um, the transport chain to be filled with the uh, sustainable modes like cycling to work or using public transport, uh, walking and so on. And cable cars can fill the gap even in flat cities. And that is shown already in, in cities worldwide that this works. According to Austrian cable car company Doblmeier, building an urban ropeway infrastructure is relatively quick. Such systems are powered by electricity, employing amongst others solar power. Stolen electrical cables and vandalism of infrastructure are concerns in South Africa. But over the years, measures guarding urban ropeways were developed for various countries and scenarios. 
Uh, I think there is a vast uh, amount of experience worldwide on these systems uh, because the systems are already existing in Algeria, in uh, Colombia, in uh, Caracas for instance and the lessons made in these systems we can say we can be very very sure that things like vandalism and thefts are neglectable because there's a lot of a lot of uh, there are a lot of options to to work against it currently authorities don't mention cable cars as part of joburg's public transport mix but it sure is a different means of urban transport marisa de clark joburg today Hey, what up? This is Boots, and you're watching Joe Berg today. And that brings us to the end of the show. For more coverage on the city, do check out our playlist. And that's it from me, Nushina, and the rest of the team. Have a fabulous weekend. <laughs>